approve the nomination of Prince Shwaibu Abubakar Audu, representing Kogi State for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate approve the nomination of Fesus Kayamo San, representing Delta State, for appointment as the Minister of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Senate Leader. Mr. Chairman, uh, Distinguished colleagues, for clarity, will the Senate approve the nomination of Senator John Owaneno, representing Cross River State, for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate approve the nomination of Barisabelo Mohammed, representing Sokoto State, for appointment as a minister of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Back to the assist. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate approve the nomination of Mohammed Badaru Abubakar, representing Jigawa State, for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Ambassador Yusuf Maitama Tuga? Representing Bauchi State for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. 
the eye service. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate approve the nomination of Barisa Uju Ken Ohaneye, representing Alhambra State, for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The aye service. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate approve the nomination of Right Honorable Olupumi Chunji Ojo, representing Ondo State, for appointment as the Minister of the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The aye service. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, sitting as chair, distinguished colleagues, I move that the Senate dissolve back into plenary for the chair to report progress. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to second the motion that the Senate do revert back to plenary for the chair to report progress. I saw second. Distinguished colleagues, the motion has been moved and seconded that the, the Senate do hereby revert to plenary for the chair to report progress. Those who are in support of the motion say aye. Those who are against say nay, the eyes have it. We've been watching live proceedings on the confirmation on concerning the ministerial nominees from the Senate. We now return to you, our Lagos studios, where we shall continue with our regular programming. This is Channels Television. ChannelsTV.com has more information on our top stories and others. Subscribe and watch Channels Television's live stream on YouTube and other social media platforms using your mobile device browser. Or download the Channels TV app for Android and iOS devices from their respective stores. You can also watch us via your smart TV platforms on Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, and Roku. Channels Television. Ubiquitous.
We saw nominees take a bow and exit the stage. Some asked probing questions and one nominee overcome with emotions mid-presentation. All this in the last few days of the ministerial screening in the Senate. I'm Linda Kibe, and you're welcome to the gavel. The Senate screening of individuals who make up President Bola Tinubu's cabinet entered the fourth day on Friday, August 4th in the National Assembly. The Senate is in a race to complete this exercise before it proceeds on its annual recess. The House of Representatives is presently on recess also. Now let's watch some highlights of the ministerial screening. On Thursday, July 28, President Tunubu, through his chief of staff, submitted a list of 28 ministerial nominees to the Senate for confirmation. The Senate fixed Monday, July 31, to begin screening the nominees. The presentation. On the first day of the screening exercise, a federal lawmaker raised a point of order informing the Senate that President